What up, y'all, man? It's the People Station. I ain't not Jams. Miami's number one for hip hop and R and B. Your girl, she's your Hercules in the building. And listen, I got the Rolling Loud team, man. DJ Scheme, Danny Towers. What up with y'all? Yeah, what it do? What what it do? Hey, listen, I love seeing y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like first time meeting y'all, but at you know the station, we big popping right here yeah. in our city, Miami. Absolutely. And I gotta talk to y'all. I seen y'all just came from Thailand. So Thailand yeah. looked like a movie. movie. You know, I got to talk to y'all. It looked like the hangover to me. Movie. How was it? What That's was that experience? Lit- literally what it was. You hit <laughs> it right on the head. No, yeah? li- no literally. <laughs> like When we was there, we was talking about it. And <laughs> at the end of our trip, we was like, Man, we we could, if we film this whole thing, and we look mm-hmm. back at the pictures too. It's yeah. literally like they look like the Hangover. No, Damn. literally like Everything. the same exact thing. Yeah, it was it was a movie. The people they're real cool out there, so mm-hmm. it was like a it was a nice experience to be out there with the people and just like experience like a different culture, you know. Yeah, was, I was just were, about to say yeah, the they, vibe must be different. It was very welcoming. Yeah. It was it was real nice to see that, you know, and like. The vibe was kind of like Florida, like it was hot as hell. Really? You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. It was hot, and Extra humid. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the festival was great. Um, yeah. How they vibe to the music? You know what I mean? Because it's like this they Thailand. Up. They yeah? show yeah. major they love. Up. Okay. I think over so. there, over there is just they they show so much love. I don't think like you know over here in Miami, you might like go to the store <laughs> and run into a rapper or something like yeah. over there. I don't think it's like that. So they show you know they show. Like, Major man, love. they're respectful with yeah, it. Yeah, sure. super respectful. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's what's I up, man. Thailand. Nah, absolutely. It looked like a movie, like I said, so I had to bring that up because Thailand just seemed, seemed so amazing. You yeah, feel me? Like, really a good was. vibe. It really, really was. It was an amazing experience. That's we were really up. excited for Miami, though. Yeah, you know? that's what I'm saying. Now you home. Up. You know yeah. what I mean? You home. home you got to bring it back. The Florida got boys the are taking moving. over. Yep. Exactly. And yeah, speaking of that. Water, you know? That's what I'm That's what I'm trying to get into. That's what I'm trying to get into, man. We got to talk about it. Um, We want to know, too, like, what made you put LaTyler on? You know what I mean? Like, what And what was it like working with him? Because he's young. He's a young dude in the game. I mean, I mean, we figured he was just perfect The perfect fit? I mean, if you listen to the song without him on it, you could already kind of hear him on it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like it was a, uh, it was already written. We sent it off. He sent it back, and you know the rest was history. Most definitely. And I know, uh, Danny, you're from Orlando, right? So, yeah. Okay, O Town. You know, and yeah. you just you know moved down here to like. What's the difference? Like, what's the vibe difference between it's, Orlando and South Florida? It's a big difference. It's it a is big right. Difference. Like, I mean, you know, Orlando's lit. The party scene is mm-hmm. lit. Downtown is lit. You know. Okay. But over here is more like city vibes. It's more like it's it's more going on. You know, it's yeah. more important people over here. <laughs> the, the people you got to link up with and stuff. You know, more opportunities and stuff. Up. Right, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely, I feel the same way. And like the only thing when I go to Orlando because I got people up there, like family, I feel like they close down the clubs too early. Oh yeah, like yeah, we yeah. just be getting started at two. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like you know what I'm saying? I feel like the party scene is different. You know what I'm saying? There's different people, but Old Town is love. But I'm glad you here. Like you know what I'm saying? You down south yeah, and you yeah. vibing with us now. Mm, yeah, I um, love Miami. <laughs> Scheme, I gotta talk to you, man. Or uh, like, how do you see the music industry changing? You feel me? Like. What makes an artist stand out these days? Because I got to know, everything, like, time is just changing, you feel me? Is nah, it their sure. looks? Is it their sound? Um, Going viral? You know what? For me, it's kind of like a, I feel like it's a preference thing, you know? I feel like a lot of the things, yeah, you know, you got TikTok, you could blow up and have mm-hmm. a record, but I feel like what makes an artist stand out is kind of like their ability to, like, be themselves, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you're able to be yourself and, like, gain all this attention yeah to, like who you are is just like yourself Hell yeah i think that that's what like makes it stand out the most because like as an individual you know you're gonna stand out if you're right. just being yourself you know mm-hmm. like people gonna see that and they're not gonna be like oh yeah this dude's just riding a wave or something so i don't know i feel like that's just like for me personally how i see it you know what about you daniel what you think like you know like with the music industry changing like they gotta i, I agree on being yourself i mean you know? look it's a new it's a new wave like i I feel like I got to experience, like, a lot of different types of, like, waves, I feel mm-hmm. like. And, like, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. It's the new wave. You got to adapt to it, you know, adjust to it, or you get left behind. It is what it is, you know? Absolutely, yeah. Sure. yeah. Being a female DJ, like, you know, just, like, you know, chopping it up from my, my standpoint, too, I feel like I got to be myself. Because sometimes, you know, you see female DJs, they yeah. got to, like, show everything. They got, you know what I mean? Yeah, for But sure. when I go, I, I'm, like, I'm a big sneakerhead. I just be on some vibes. And I'm right. I'm myself, like mm-hmm. you said. And yeah. I feel like people take to that because they, yeah, they remember that, that you know? Sure. Exactly. Remember and respect it. Mm-hmm. So that's what's up, you know what I mean? And um, also, do you think, like, social media and TikTok is impactful to like a success you know the success of a artist these oh, days nah, for sure. like you know what i mean because sure. you have you number one yeah, trending we, sh- y'all we, number one yeah, trending yeah, yeah, sure. on tiktok um, so do you think that that helps or no nah, it definitely does like 
for me personally, like Danny said, you know, we've all seen different waves and stuff, and I feel like, uh, like my first real record mm-hmm. by myself with, I mean, like as an artist, you know what I mean, with with Danny and Ski, yeah, um, was how you feel, and that was yes. like a really big record on TikTok at like kind of like the start of TikTok, right? So I kind of got to see like the early vibes of it, and like you know, honestly, I think it's a good thing, right? I think that the whole social media is like important, you know what I mean, like. Mm-hmm. We're in an era right now where everybody's on their phones, you know what I mean? <laughs> everybody's looking at what's going on and stuff. Yeah. And I think it's dope. Like, we have so much more opportunity. Like, I think you could be just about from anywhere in this country and, like, yep. you get something going on the internet that people see that think is dope or you whatever are. the case may be. Like, you really could get a deal and, like, go crazy and get, like, <laughs> change your life. You know what Whole I mean? Career. Absolutely. Whole yeah, people getting paid. People, nah, getting paid. people getting paid from money social sure. media. And when I, I heard that, I was like, ooh, let me yeah, go. yeah. I mean, you for never sure. know. People showing feet now for, <laughs> for nah, likes. For sure. Nah, <laughs> literally, like, bro, you it's crazy. Like, and I was just Yo. gonna say that too. Like, <laughs> you know, like you really do anything on the internet now. And like, yeah. if it just blows up, it's like mm-hmm. you, you kind of hit the lotto. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's like, like I feel like when I when the record was first coming up, how you feel? Yeah. And even like with this one, like you can just see like when it takes to TikTok. Yeah, like, that was kind of like you know obviously you got marketing and everybody you you got the whole situation right yeah when you putting out music but it's like you you could see where the organicness like mm-hmm. the, where the you know what I mean like it just it's so organic and you could just see it yeah and it just starts growing and I think that that's like the beauty <laughs> in the social media that yeah. also like you know who knows like bro I could have never been seen or that song could have never been heard but right. Like, you know, it's dope that if like, it wasn't TikTok, for social media, exactly, or TikTok, it's, yeah, it's a great thing. Like so many kids that like back in the day, it was like impossible to be a rapper. Like, oh, yeah. You know, it was like you look at it and you like, oh, man, like what, not, what not, I got to show up at a radio station and rap in front of you Kanye West. A yeah, lot. you had to do a lot. <laughs> yeah, That's like, why it's like, sure. you know what? I have to I, like you. I can't really complain because it's like we really got it easy. All you got to do. Beautiful thing. We just gotta, upload. Yeah, just <laughs> upload, record and you know? upload. Yeah. People I feel like people did like far more like back in the days to to promote a single or to promote a, you know a record or something. Hell yeah, definitely. So yeah, yeah, it's no, dope. I agree. It's dope. Like you said, if you have that presence, it takes nothing to, to record yourself, upload and, and let the people talk talk, you know? Yeah. It, if everybody gonna let them know how you feel yeah, about your sure. record, about your look and everything and I, but I think it's dope. Like you said, what we have now is definitely what we didn't have back then. For sure. And I gotta get into it, man. Uh you know you got the number one song, Work It, the remix. I wanna talk about it a little oh, bit. Yeah. Got that Missy uh sample on it. Sample but she it. I heard she like you said she ain't clear it. She does. So, yeah, yeah, so so how like how did y'all move forward with that? Because I think the record is hard. Like I heard it. I was like Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we, we originally it was supposed to be. Yeah, originally <laughs> it was like, really man. supposed to be on the project. You know, like it was a record that uh, we had started. Like, man, how many years ago? Man, that might have been like two, we, three years ago. Yeah, really. Okay. Yeah, like they had previewed it. We were like in Atlanta working on like I think it was like Ski's album at the time. Yeah. And uh, this record just so happened to just come to life. Kind of like we always have like these little records that will just like pop up yeah, pop, like yeah. people will be in the, like we'll all be in the same room together and everyone's just like oh my god oh my you know like the energy's right and you, you can tell it. yeah for sure you know and I, and I think that that's like something that we now know you know like whenever we're together it's like it's gonna be a hit you know what I mean like it's gonna it's gonna be a banger you know what I mean so I think with the work it it was just something that was just like these other records that we do it was super natural right and uh now working on the album, we were like, yo, let's try to put it out. So, you know, you go through the clearing process. Mm-hmm. Missy's team kind of like just They shut it down a little it. bit. Yeah. And we was like, man, you know, at the end of the day, like, that kind of stuff never stopped us from uploading music back in the day. Right, so. Like, we not in no position for anyone to kind of just tell us what we got to do. You know, I mean, I'm being honest, <laughs> Even you know. Missy. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, for real, you know, like, yeah. we, someone going to upload it at some point. Yeah, I was about so to say, somebody going like, to do it, somebody going. Exactly, yeah. you know, like, the numbers show and it shows, like, you know, you upload it. And it does well, and it goes number one on SoundCloud. And, and then, then maybe never, it you know comes I mean? full circle. And now look, yeah, now our sure. team might talk to you. Like, well, listen, like y'all did have something. You never know. Maybe yeah, we can sure. we can set up a meeting. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah right? my people talk to their people. Yeah, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> That's what's up, <laughs> uh, man. So, Danny, listen, we know you got that single drop in Paranoid. Uh, just talk yeah. about it. Tell the people like what it's about, because we want to know about y'all projects. What you guys got going on? Oh man, we got a uh, yeah, Paranoid. Paranoid mm-hmm. is the next one that we letting go on. Um, Yes, sir. I love it. That's a good record. High energy. You know, it's a good showcase of like what I really like originally started like doing, like the type of music I originally taking started it back. doing. Yeah. So it's kind of, for me, it kind of feels like I'm, you know, taking it back. Yeah. To like, 
you know, to that sound. But yeah, it's a it's a dope record. We got uh we got the album. The coming. album. We got the album on the way. Um, Can I ask about collabs and, and yeah, features? Yeah. Got, uh, what are we looking like? We got a lot of features. A lot, mostly Florida, to be honest. Um, Thank you. We got we got <laughs> Shimmy. Thank you. Eloise Shimmy. We got uh <laughs> obviously you know obviously Lil Tyler, Ski Master, Slump God. Yeah. Um, he's family. Babyface Ray. We got uh <laughs> Trapland Pat C Stunner. Denzel Curry. Um, okay. Denzel Curry. Nice. Yeah, we got we got a, we got a. Now you got the team, man. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to stack. You know, like you we, said, we didn't want to go over with the features, but mm -hmm. we also like, like I said, like for us, it's just about like genuinely doing things that like feel right, you know. So. No, I see y'all tighten it, man. Yeah, you I know, mean, I can see. It's like a family thing for us, you know. Exactly. Like, I don't. We don't just make music with nobody, you know. It's like, if we do it, it's because we appreciate the art, you know. So I Absolutely. think that this project is a good showcase of like where Danny's taste is also at with yeah. like, the artists that he likes to work with and, like, For the sure. kind of music he wants to put out. So I think that this project kind of, like, captivates that, you know, so it's dope. I'm here for it, man. I know the people are here for it, too. Um, And just getting back to Rolling Loud, because, like you said, that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. Miami's going to be a movie. Mm -hmm. How y'all feeling, man? Biggest features, artists, talk to me. I'm like, excited. what's that experience? Yeah, like, what, what are we looking forward to? I'm excited, man. Yeah, um, it's always something to look forward to. That's what I love about Rolling Loud. You know, me and Danny, we performed at, like, almost... Like so every many. rolling loud. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. I've never missed a rolling loud. I've performed every rolling loud since the start. You feel me? So nice. it's like but it still feels like like that season, you know? Like Or like the first you time. Know what? Yeah, having yeah. having good, this record, you know? like having this record, having Florida Water now, mm -hmm. it makes it almost kinda gives me that feeling like like my first time performing at Rolling Loud. Yeah, over. you home and then to I have perform something to look forward to mm -hmm. and something for the people that yeah. you know that I know the people will appreciate, you know, so we could create a moment. It's gonna be dope. Absolutely. Now I think it definitely is, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you're gonna be on a big stage, everybody's talking about it. I just for those who don't know, I gotta let them know. Mm -hmm. Rolling Loud Miami, July twenty first through the twenty third. Hard Rock Stadium, y'all gonna be blessing the stage. It's gonna be a movie, and just have fun with it. What was like your craziest experience, like at a Rolling Loud? I, we gotta get into. We just have a little fun with it. Uh, Crazy, like like at a Rolling Loud. Like X, uh, Citrus Rap Stage. Okay. X, X performance. Yeah. yeah that Citrus was Rap crazy. Stage in the in the in the tent. Yeah. The Citrus Rap Tent, man, that was crazy. He was, was like insane. full on riot. Yeah. yeah oh it was man. Like crazy, like yeah, it was a full on riot. Everybody man. started fighting. And, and, the, and this was, was all like, while like there was some big acts performing, like you know, and he he made sure he left his his stamp. That was, man, it was that was yeah. an iconic moment. A big like, riot. It was huh? a crazy show. The energy was crazy. The crowd was loving it. There were so many people at this tiny little stage. Yeah. And then. You know, like he he was so wild back then. Like <laughs> I think the DJ messed some stuff up, and like he tried to fight the DJ. And, oh like, my god! That's how his set ended. You know what I mean? Like, oh my on god! Some craziness, and it was just like, it's just cool to see that because, like he said, <laughs> there were so many people at the stage. You know, it was, right. it was a yeah. little stage. Like, man, the sta this is this table that we're like <laughs> sitting at is higher than the stage was. You know oh my I mean? god! Yeah. So like, it was just crazy to see that how many people even back then popped out for us when like of course like he said like I, I can't remember who but someone big was like performing on main stage and like yeah. people were like man yeah we going to see this <laughs> this this harder you that's know what what's I mean? up like, we want to go see this yeah so it was just cool to see that that was definitely i agree with him that's definitely one of my one favorite of the, moments that was for if sure. not, favorite if not that maybe like the last performance that we had did uh with uh x and ski at uh Rolling Loud Miami. I can't remember what that yeah, was, like twenty eighteen or something. Yeah. Um yeah, that was like the last, the last time that we really there like, you go. as yeah. a family kinda like did something together. Got you. And it was like the first time that like the ex played like main stage at night. Like it yeah. was just a crazy moment. It was like raining, like I still like <laughs> look back and like I see pictures and I'm like yeah, Can I really do that. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, absolutely. You just think back and you like. It's yeah, like you said, unreal. Like yeah, this like, is really happening. So like, I'll go through my phone. And I'll be like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I took that video. That was me. Right. Yeah, that's like crazy. that's crazy. You know. So nah, that's what's up. It's good to have moments like that. Out. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. And well, you we could always look forward to more. You know, like this year I'm. Like Danny said, we'll you know, create we create more of those moments. Mm -hmm. You know, so, we'll create more of those moments. Absolutely, you got to. And we're going to pray the weather is good, but I know how South Florida goes. That stops nobody. Hey, even if you it rains, I mean? we outside with Rain it. Rain or shine. Yes. Rolling Loud Miami definitely happening. Mm -hmm. Let everybody know your social media handles that who live under a rock. I always tell them, put it out my there. My Instagram is at Danny Towers. Um, my Twitter is at Danny Towers with two S's at the end. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, my Instagram. Well, pretty much all my social media is just at DJ Scheme. The only one that's different is uh, Twitter. Okay. Because I don't know why, but the dude won't give it to me. Uh-oh. 
But whatever, it. we gonna thug it well, out. Sorry, it's DJ we'll, Scheme. We'll get it right. <laughs> I've been, look, listen, we done tried. I done tried forever. But uh, it's a uh, DJ Scheme underscore on Twitter. Other That's than what's that, up. It's just DJ Scheme everywhere. Absolutely, TikTok, everything. Cool. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. I appreciate y'all hanging out with us. You know uh, what I'm saying? Sure. Your girl CJ Hercules repping the People Station. We excited for Rolling Loud Miami. Uh-huh. Like I said, again, going down July 21st through the 23rd. We invading Hard Rock Stadium. It's gonna be a movie. DJ Scheme, man. Danny Towers. It's the People Station. It's not. Not jams. Yeah.